Hey friends, I'm back with another video and I'm here in Everfrost and I'm gonna head over to Permafrost because I'm on a mission. I'm gonna try to do a small quest and I'm using notes over here to keep a note of everything that I have to acquire. And yes, I am trying to get a staff of temperate flux for the wizard in this group. So let's see what happens if I manage to do it. It's kind of strange seeing folks camping these giants anymore. I used to see it a lot back in the day because I guess it was a pretty easy camp. It was slow paced. But now that you don't have to wait that long to get your mana back i find it strange that people still want to camp them but maybe they're old school returning players and they just don't know of something better i don't know honestly i if i wanted to just get raw plat and stuff i would go and to wrath mountains and fight hill giants over there because i think it would be just so much more just just not so much more convenient so much better i, I think you would get a lot more giants over there but i could be wrong make sure everyone is following i know these tall ass high elves like to get stuck up on things i don't know why i made a high elf wizard uh, was i thinking that their intelligence was better or something i don't know where the hell are they see they are they're stuck they're stuck up they're stuck up pieces of crap as always and getting stuck up on everything. Ooh, I hate them so much anymore. There was a time when I was like, yes, a high elf, please. Let me be a high elf. Let me be a pretty princess. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, let me be a high elf. You know, I'm thinking, oh, high elves are cool. Now I just, I can't stand them. There's just nothing good and or practical about them. They're always getting stuck on things and just the lore alone is, it's just, they are stuck up douchebags, man. They really are. They're incorrigible. A wizard is like a really crappy mage. Why am I, why am I even questing this for the wizard, you might ask, if I have so much contempt for wizard. I don't have contempt for them. I pity them. I pity them because they're like a mage who lost their pet and they like lost it permanently. And it's really, really sad. So it's got to be a wizard here somewhere come on pet get in there i've also got mercs i've got mercs i've got like a merc cleric i've got a merc rogue i believe nah, of course it's leather it's not going to be cloth because just because we have a group full of casters we're not going to get cloth that would be crazy why would you give us cloth i don't think the rogue is active i'm gonna have to check that and of course that's the wizards that's the wizards merc oh the wizards out of money oh big surprise the wizard doesn't have any freaking money okay well i guess it'll be up to the damn enchanter to give the stupid wizard money where the hell is the wizard where are you you dumb ass she couldn't pay her mercenary so her mercenary left just like a wizard you know you're not paying your bills let me get rid of the stupid dead man floating on him that might have been another reason why they were floating the way they were you know at least uh this one's a dark elf i like dark elves more than high elves anymore but all the elves are pretty bad i mean you know they're always at war with each other and crap you would think that there would be a goblin here like in the throne room area a goblin wizard no there's not gonna be a goblin wizard here in the throne room one would think you know hey you know let's let's protect the king and get our wizards here and use our strongest magic no maybe not they don't wizards don't give a crap about the king the goblin king maybe not maybe they don't care maybe the goblin king owes the money and they're more than happy to see him get taken out by some adventurers maybe they're tired of serving vox too i don't know is it an evoker is an evoker the same as a uh, wizard or no i don't think it is oh esox what the hell is esox doing here that's so funny i found my igloo <laughs> i guess that's funny i don't know what he's doing here um oh he's giving me some buffs <laughs> i swear i had no idea what was going on well isn't that nice my guildies are funny man in the bay with the bears and the wolves it would have been funnier if i was live streaming although i'm not and of course these guys are stuck on the door man i swear they are trying to intentionally drive me nuts with these stupid non-gnome individuals i think i'm slowly becoming prejudiced against any race that's not a gnome is that okay am i allowed oh, there's a goblin wizard right there i found one and there's a heart heart of frost and it goes to alzira okay and i've got some simple cloth sandals 
Now, is this no trade? No, it's actually tradable. So I could have done this with a higher level character. But now I have it. I have my heart. So we've got the frost goblin heart. We're getting the fire goblin heart. Then we got to get a bone rod from a skeleton in Lake Wrath. I don't I don't know about the bone rods. I'm not. Hopefully that's not going to be hard to find. I guess to get to Lake Wrath, I'll just uh, teleport to POK and then go through the, uh, the arena. I, I feel I feel like that's the absolute closest way. What do you guys think? Is there a closer, closer way? Now the, the Enchanter's being an idiot too. Multi-boxing isn't for the faint of heart, I swear. But I think it's only when you multi-box with full-sized races. If you multi-box with gnomes, you don't have any of these problems. It's just with the stand, the damn tall people. It's it's all they do is cause grief. It'd be great to turn every single one of my characters that is not a gnome into a gnome. Maybe one of my projects. I have a lot of alts, guys. You have no idea what that would entail, but it would entail a lot. Inferno Goblin Wizard, and he doesn't have a heart. Of course he doesn't have a heart. He's a freaking Inferno Goblin Wizard. Mine doesn't have a heart either. Either. It's why she wants to steal one of theirs. So it finally happened, folks. I got the Heart of Fire off of that Inferno Goblin Wizard right there. So I'm sending that to Elzira, the wizard. So we're done with Soul A, finally. I gotta say, it's been rough. I've been here for hours killing Inferno Goblins. And I'll try to see here on the map where this one was. It was in this room here, uh, not far from the bartender and the drunkard's room. You would just have to go from the bartender. You go down this way and come down here. And it's not even far from the, the main area where Alzira, I had left Alzira kind of hanging out. So I got stick, sick of her and the other one getting stuck on the wall. So I just left them right here. And I just been running around with my mage, my gnome mage, killing everything. So let's make sure that uh, Alzira here looted her heart. Yep, okay. And she's got her heart now along with her her frozen heart. Where's the frozen one? There's the frozen one. So let's put it right next to that one. They hang out right there next to each other. I don't want to accidentally uh, delete either one of them, especially after how hard it was getting the stupid heart. So where to head to next? I got to go get a rod of bone from a stone skeleton uh, on the shores of Lake Rather, and then a dark wood staff from Romar Sunto through a side quest. Oh man, that sounds positively awful, but we'll we'll get there. And here I've located the stone skeleton in Lake Wrath, so I'm gonna pull him. And he's pretty easy to kill. There we go, barely an inconvenience. There is the rod that I need, so looting the rod and everything else. And it looks like there's another one there, but we don't need him. We're done. And that's where it is. That's where you'd find it on the map. It's this little outcropping here in Lake Wrath. And it looks like there's two of them in this little stone tower. So it wasn't bad. It was one of the easier things. I actually did this with my ranger just because it was so much easier to find him. Because honestly, I had no idea where these guys were located. And there's a zoom out of the map. So... I hope this helps you with this part of the quest. All right, we're going to go back to Nectalus Forest now. And we got some turn-ins to do for this stinking rod, for this stinking wizard. All right, we are headed up to Lava Storm Mountains. From Lava Storm, you want to take a right. Because we're going to go to the Temple of Solozek Row. And you can see it there on the map. It might be a good idea to have levitate. Oh, and you do want to look out for the shadow men over here. They are like invisible jerks that all you see is their weapons. And they don't like anybody. They will attack you. It looks like I, I have a shadow man. No, I don't know. I thought I had one attacking me, but I think I was mistaken. I think I just have them targeted okay and here we go here is the entrance to the uh the temple it just it looks like that it looks like a little cave on the outside okay and don't be afraid when you come in here and you see really old graphics it's it's kind of funny but this is just how it is this is an original zone from original everquest so it has not changed at all it's always been here and it's always been sort of a place you go to do quests or to get quests and we want we want guard uh 
Gardern, but we want another guy named Romar Santo too. And I think he's also upstairs. I think it's over this way. Yeah, here's the stairs. I'm only a high elf for Christ's sake. Why does it seem like I, I'm so insanely tall? I'm having a hard time finding Romar and I need him first. I'm going to be mad if he's like in a really stupidly obvious place. Okay, I think I know where he's at now. I went and looked it up. Yes, yes, I think I gotta go up here. Seeker, a se another Seeker. Maltac, no, that's not the one I need. Ostorm. He's the respec guy. So this is the guy you go to and I think you gotta just give him some plat or something and you can get respect. Respect. You can get respect from him. That's funny. Let's see what happens if I say memories, losing memories, rearrange memories. Oh, that's interesting. So it's like a, a whole tab ask now anyway i need rome or santa who the hell is this dude has he been here since the beginning i kind of doubt it because he looks wild like we're talking weird with a beard here lord seafire solomon undead knight Ooh, here's the library uh Vir Virgo. There he is. Romar Santo. Okay. We hail him. We want the Darkwood Staff. And he says he just wants a Lambent Stone. So Lambent Stone, you kill either Hill Giants or Sand Giants in South Row. And they will drop Lambent Stones. And they look like this. They look like a Lapis uh, Lazuli or Lapis Lazuli. However you want to pronounce it. I don't care. But it's a Lambent Stone. So it's just a blue stone. You Give it to him and poof here you have your dark wood staff and i forget that this quest even exists honestly it's just a staff it's not great but i guess it's an easy way to get a magic staff that wizards and mages and enchanters and stuff can use so yeah this is part of the quest so you i have all four parts now because i just had to get this from romar here so that's it and he's in the library here which is was i i came here the, like the most silly roundabout way possible and over here is no that's not who i need ah oh, geez man this is why people stop watching my channel. This is why people unsubscribe. I get lost. Okay, uh, Gardern, here we go. This guy. So we hail him. We say we want, uh, what, Lord to the Staff? Interested in the Staff? Yeah, Temporal Flux. Temperate Flux. That's what we want. So we got to give him a heart of ice a heart of fire a rod of bone which we had to get from wrath mountains and this dark wood staff and we're supposed to get the rod of temperate flux sweet and there it is folks it's the staff of temperate flux i said rod earlier sorry staff of temperate flux required level 20 reduces cold and fire resistance by six points which i know it sounds awful like, how is that even going to help? It's uh, 6 damage, 30 delay. It's got a ratio of 2. Surprisingly, not a terrible ratio. It also gives you a resist of cold and fire. So let's go outside and try this out. One of the nice things is I'm pretty sure you can activate this uh, from your inventory. You don't need to to activate it like you don't need to use it as a weapon if you don't want to so see we can grab it we can make a hot button put it right there there we go we got our, our button because i already i have a slightly better staff on me i'm actually going to move the staff button over down there because it's always it's, it's one of those things you can attack with so why not put it closer to where I would tap to attack something. I'm gonna get back on my stupid flying mount that I really hate and I think it was a bad idea to choose it now and I just want to get somewhere where there's something that I can kill. I don't even care if it's of a level that gives me XP or anything. Like let's pick on this stupid fire elemental over here. So watch, uh, I can press three and see, that's what it does. It uh, it lowers their resistance. I'm actually gonna try it one more time on the spider here. You know, and you could just keep spamming it on something to sort of cause some aggro and uh, 
Yeah, you could just try to piss things off because it's instant, instant cast time. And uh, people would use this to help them fear kite because, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to maintain aggro of something. And it lands fairly consistently. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the, that's the quest. Again, you know, this is an old school item. It's, it's not something that a lot of wizards now might want to do. But if you are on a progression server, Server or you plan on joining a progression server in the future you might come across this and uh or, or some of the drops for it like the goblin hearts or the bone rod and you might wonder what are these for well they let you quest the staff of temperate flux very old school wizard item that can you can i guess use as a weapon or you can use it to uh pull things because it's got a very long range it's got a cast time instant. You could just put it in one of your hotkeys. And there you go. I'm pulling the spider from all the way over there. And I don't have to use any mana. I just, you know, use this. And boom. So, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's one of the cooler little clickies out there. I think it's like the wizard's best friend. And, uh... If you're going to play a wizard, you'll need a lot of luck. And you'll need one of these. I hope this helps you. If it does leave a like if you've hated the video for some reason you can leave a dislike if you like what i do here and you would like to support me and support the channel consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed you can also join the channel as a channel member channel members get special perks and privileges like a link to join our private discord likewise if you follow one of the links in the description below to the patreon patreon patrons also get similar perks like a link to join our private discord and all the content over there is commercial free you can also help out the channel by leaving a super like a super like is to show your appreciation for the video it's kind of like buying your pal fez a cup of coffee we gnomes love our coffee i would also like to thank all of our current channel members and patreon patrons for supporting the channel your continued support really helps out it helps me keep the lights on. It motivates me to do better and keep this channel going. Thank you very much for all your help. We are on the road to hitting a thousand subs. If I hit the 1000 subscriber mark by December 24th, which is Christmas Eve, I have promised to dye the white stripe in my beard bright red for Christmas. If you'd like to see us, this channel reach the goal, of 1,000 subs. Consider sharing the video with friends. Maybe we'll get a few more subscribers out of that. And I, I would appreciate the help because I don't mind. I'd gladly dye the beard red if I hit 1,000 subs by Christmas. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you and I thank you for taking the time out to watch my content. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.